a very important Bitcoin chart. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. In today's video, talking about the news, sharing a very important Bitcoin chart and an inspirational quote from a new location. Yes, we chose this time for a bit of a traditional house, as you can see over here, but you will see more of the house in the other videos, guys. Now, let's first jump into the news. And I will also share my opinion why the YouTube channels of all these influencers are not growing at the moment. And that's a very, very important thing for you to notice. And then, of course, the charts and that quote. Jump in it now. Bam. The positive news comes from the country that I will be going to in a couple of weeks, guys. That is Thailand. Thailand now has approved a sandbox project for new cryptocurrency projects to test their cryptocurrency use cases. So they not only did a spot ETF in Thailand, they are not only lowering the tax on all those cryptos, but they're now also opening a sandbox so that all new people that want to open a cryptocurrency company can try and do that in Thailand without any problems. So Thailand is becoming one of the more crypto friendly countries of the world. Aside of that, of course, also very decentralized country that doesn't have any affiliations with wars and all that stuff. So for me, it's becoming the like Switzerland of Europe is becoming Thailand now. So Thailand, not only beautiful people, amazing food, amazing nature, but also adopting crypto to the fullest. So that's one of the reasons why I start to love Thailand even more and more and more. So now even you can go there and start your cryptocurrency company without any problems. You can even invest in a spot ETF and you can also avoid paying too much tax on crypto by going and living in Thailand, guys. So yes, Thailand becoming my number, number, number one, 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 one location in the world. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about is the growth of my YouTube channel. A lot of people ask me, why are you not growing that fast as other channels? I've been researching this and what I saw is that most channels at the moment are not growing. And I have my thoughts about why most YouTube channels, Bitcoin, crypto, YouTube channels are not growing. And I think I'm completely right here, but let me know down below in the comments if you think, ah, Didi, you're wrong, you're a conspiracy theorist. Now, I hope you still remember a couple of years ago, like one half year, when BlackRock announced that they would go into Bitcoin, and I told you, I don't like that. My first video, I said, I don't like that. Why not? Because they are very centralized, and they also own a huge part of the world's companies together with Vanguard and State Street. And they make sure you see what you want to see, you hear what you want to hear. That is how they also control that whole fake flu show where you know you need to wear face mask and all that stuff because they controlled the media what you got to see in that period. You weren't thinking for yourself because we all were in shock, but they showed you that stuff that they wanted you to see or that the presidents or the countries wanted you to see. Now, that is why I don't like decentralized companies. Now, when they stepped into Bitcoin, I told you, this is good for our bags. Yes, it will pump the bag, but it's not good for the decentralization of Bitcoin. And that is what we see now. Just imagine you are BlackRock. You're launching a spot ETF. So essentially you're launching a service where clients can buy Bitcoin through your service. So BlackRock selling Bitcoins to their clients. Now, you analyze your competition because you're BlackRock and you're like, hey, a lot of retail is buying at Bybit or Binance or Coinbase or any of these exchanges. Ah, first, let's eliminate a few of these exchanges. Let's make sure Binance is not operating in the United States. Let's make sure Bybit also not operating in the United States. Hmm? Then you will say, hey, how are these others buying now at Coinbase and Kraken and all the other regulated exchanges? Ah, they watch YouTube videos. And we, meet, we need to make sure that those YouTube channels do not grow too fast, that there's not too many views of Bitcoin videos on YouTube, because then people might still buy Bitcoin on all these exchanges. People should only see Bitcoin commercials or Bitcoin information on the centralized television channels during the Olympics, during the World Championship of Football, during rugby, during all American football matches. That is where they should see Bitcoin. And then when they see Bitcoin there, they should see Bitcoin 
as something they should be buying at an official dealer like BlackRock. That is what you see happening. Just check the Netherlands, same thing. If I look to Olympic Games, I can see all kinds of centralized Bitcoin commercials. Also during the European Championship, a lot of Bitcoin commercials. That will all lead to people buying Bitcoins at centralized entities, banks and institutions where they don't have control on their Bitcoin. So if people watch YouTube, ah, they might click on my link to buy Bit, they might buy at Bybit. But if they are not allowed to find my videos or see my videos because BlackRock owns a huge part of YouTube and they tell YouTube to push certain content, yes or no, then those people will probably be caught by the commercials BlackRock is pulling out there in the mass media. And then they will probably be, ah oh, yeah, that's way safer, let's buy at BlackRock. A spot idea. So my opinion is that the decentralized social media isn't decentralized anymore. And that is why you see on this chart that all these YouTube channels that normally at these levels of Bitcoin are having huge amount of views at the moment don't have any views. All of these influencers don't have any views. Not if you compare it to that last bull market where we went all the way to 70K, the views were like six, seven, eight times higher. Now we are back at 60, 70 k. The views are very low. We are going into that second part of the bull market and still the views are very low. I think that this is all being controlled. I think they let people see what they want to see. So I'm very thankful for all of you that are still watching my videos. But the way to have my channel grow is to share this channel with all your friends and family, colleagues, whatever it is. Every day, just mention one time to one of those people, hey, if you want to know more about Bitcoin, go to YouTube. That's where you learn about Bitcoin, not all these fake centralized companies that want to have control on your Bitcoins. Now, that was the news for today. Let's quickly jump into the charts. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart. Oh, it's a one hour chart at the moment. I will put it on the four hour chart for you guys, because that's where we start. On the four hour chart, we can see that the price is reversing a little bit, but look, what we are doing, we are creating a low, a high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low. So even if we stay above this green line, 56,600, we still have a higher high than this high. And that means that we are creating a new channel that we're in. And I don't think that a retest of this is uh, bad. It's just something that needs to be done um, when you go up. Look, we found that resistance over here at that yellow line. We can retest a little bit before we move up again and try to break you know, these levels. Again, over here, this resistance level of 63K, 65K. These are huge resistance levels as they also were huge support levels. Now, if you zoom in indeed to the one hour, you already saw that most of the indicators are showing us that a reversal is being built. Look here, this is all bottoming out around the level of 14 and the white line is around 24, 23, the blue line. The blue and the yellow is decreasing, the green is on top. So in the one hour, it's already giving a buy signal. I believe that we will try to break uh, these levels again that we just saw also on that four hour chart, that 63K level. We will go and try to break it away. We will need to breathe. We just bounce beautifully from 48K all the way to over there, 62K. Now we're pulling back a little bit here to 58K. This is just the normal way and amazing to trade Bitcoin as it's very volatile and volatility brings us opportunities to trade. The weekly shows you a very important picture. I've been talking about this candle for a couple of days already. I told you guys that the closing would be on Sunday, it would be a very important one. And if we would close about 58K, that's exactly what I said it will turn into a green candle and then it's a very bullish green candle. If it's up to me, we have a large wick, a very large wick to the bottom. We have a, also a big wick on the top, which is the, not the most positive part, but the wick in the bottom is way bigger and we have a tiny body in the size of market. But look how much people, how much people bought up those dips. So there is a lot of people that want Bitcoin to go higher. That's why these wicks are this large at the bottom. Now, if we look back in the history of Bitcoin, we can search for a very long time to find a candle that has a spread of 48,000 to 58,000. That's a 10K candle. So this is a very long wick. Mostly when we see long wicks to the bottom, over here, for example, there's a long wick, we went up. 
long wick over here we went massively up long wick over there we went up you see these long wicks tell your story even here a red candle with a long wick we went up in price so people need to understand that during a bull market let's see if we can find one over here in the previous bull market ah, then we need to go to this chart over here sorry but if we go to the previous bull market here there's a long wick in the red candle made the market go massively up so these long wicks they do tell a story i need to switch back again to this one because this is the one that i use for trading that is the weekly chart now guys uh, that i use for uh, long-term investments so for me very important this long wick is a bullish candle close we will see another move massively up for bitcoin of course the rsi can be bottom out a little bit more if we go back to the 30 levels over here then yes we have more power to go up again you can see also the macd but in my opinion a very positive positive closing of that week that we've been talking about but i have way more important charts for you to see so let's jump into the first chart over here this chart this chart is um, the bull market cycle indicator. There's the bear bull indicator. This one tells us, hey, it's a bear market or hey, it's a bull market. Simple as that. That one is turning positive again. As you can see over there, it's turning yellow. Bluish is normally the beginning of a bear market. So that huge dip that we had made us go in that area of bearish bear market. Now, because we turn yellow again over there, orange, whatever call you call it, this is bull. The moment we turn red, that's an overheated bull. That's the bull market top. So we are now turning positive again. This indicator is very important to understand, guys, that if the indicator goes this orange color again, then we are again back to bull mode, not anymore in bear mode. And also not extremely bear early bull, but we are now in bull mode. So yes, also very positive that the chart flipped bullish again. Now, another important chart, this one. This is the bull market 2014, 2017 on the bottom. On the top, we have 2022 to 2025, both three years. So we can see, of course, in 2014, we had a bear market. After 2013 top, 12 months of bearish. Then, of course, we had the first part of that bull market. 2015 to 2016. We were forming this parabolic growth curve that we retested exactly over there. And when we retested that, that was the moment we went into bull run part two, the next part of very bullishness, all the way up into the top of 2017 December 20k, if you still remember. Now 2022-25, we had the bear again, 12 month bear market. We had the bull run part one at the moment. Look what we are doing. Exactly retesting that growth curve again. And it's both on the one day chart. We are now expecting this bull run part two. This is what is going to happen. I'm not saying 350k. Again, for me, 120 to 160, that area would be the bull market top. But we could reach this as well. For me, safety over there. I will start taking profit from 100k all the way this area. I will still have to take profits, guys. But this retest over here looks pretty, pretty damn similar to that retest over there. And we are going positive again into that greenish. Make sure this area you buy a shitload of Bitcoin because else you're gonna miss out on this pump. And this pump is gonna happen in the next 12 to 18 months. Between now and December 2025, we will experience a massive pump. So you should be accumulating over here. Very interesting chart. I hope you really enjoyed those charts, guys. Short term, beautiful volatility gains. Yes, of course, on uh, trades opened and closed and taken profit. For all of you, this is a beautiful market to be trading or to be learning how to trade because it's a difficult market to trade. And when it's difficult, yeah, then it's a good market to learn because then you make your mistakes. And from those mistakes, you will learn, guys. Now, long term, you just zoom out. Look at that beautiful bigger picture. Look at that amazing chart. What happened last time after the retest of that beautiful parabolic curve. Every time when we retest these levels after the halving, we will see another run. 
and that's the last part of that bull market all the way up to december probably 2024 little dip again into the january february and then again a huge bull market in 2025 i've been saying to you guys from the beginning that you were following my channel the bull market top would be 2017. Then I told you the bull market top would be 2021. And now I'm telling you already for two years, the bull market top will be in 2025. We did front run a little bit. That's why we had an early all time high. And also now a little bit of correction, but we are still on track. This is gonna go insane higher in the next 12 to 18 months. Next year, around September to December, you will be celebrating all-time highs for Bitcoin. So don't be fooled. Don't be shaken out. Don't trust all the centralized entities to buy your Bitcoins over there. Keep buying them so decentralized as possible. For me, there's only two exchanges at the moment, Bybit and Blowfin. Bybit is KYC, but it's the second largest exchange of the world. So that's a very robust, very safe one. Then we have Blowfin, one of these newcomers, non-KYC, where you can still buy your Bitcoin non-KYC. So that means you can be buying your Bitcoins over here, sending them over there, if you trust that one even more, or send them to your Hathor wallet, which of course is the all safest place. Now, that were the charts. Let's quickly jump into the last part, the inspirational part for today. The inspirational part for today, guys, is a very simple but a very powerful quote. The quote for today is, happiness is not by chance, happiness is by choice. And that means that you choose your own happiness. You are able to choose your life so that you're happy. It's not by chance. It's not that like 50% of humanity is happy and the other 50% is doomed to not be happy. It's all by choice. It's all your choice choice. Again, I will keep repeating it. You are in control. You are in control on whatever you do and whatever you do leads probably to happiness. And if you know which steps you should be taking that will lead to happiness, then you are very stupid if you're not taking that steps. If you keep running the hamster wheel just out of fear, then you will never reach that happiness goal that you're running for because that goal is probably in a completely different direction than a hamster wheel. And if you look in the mirror and you ask yourself, how do I become really happy? When do I feel ultimate happiness? When do I really feel happy? And if you then get an answer, a honest answer, if it is in a certain country or in a certain situation or when you're doing your job, then go and focus on that because that will lead to happiness. It will never lead to happiness if you keep doing what you're doing and it's not making you happy already for 30 years, if you're 30 or 40 years, if you're 40 years. Apparently you have been doing something that didn't make you happy. You need to change course. And that's all your choice. Happiness is not something by chance. Happiness is completely by choice. Your choice. Your choice to become happy. Your choice to feel happy. Your choice to change the lives of yourself, your family, because your happiness is there. The moment you feel happiness, all those people around you will be affected and they will understand what to do as well to become happy. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I wish you an amazing Monday and an amazing week ahead, guys. I'm gonna try to make as much as possible videos again. Also do live AMAs this weekend because I have fiber optics over here, so I have really fast internet. Um, hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about everything that we just talked about? I wish you an amazing day. See you tomorrow again. Bam.